revolutionary greetings to you all, our viewers and listeners living and working in different parts of the world. Uh, and revolutionary greetings and comradely salutations to you all, my dear participants joining me on this panel. Uh, I would like to welcome you uh, to this symposium that is hosted by the University of Warwick. And the title is Veteran Politics and Memory, a Global Perspective. And this particular panel is set forth to discuss the topic veteran history and decolonialism. Uh, I'm joined by two esteemed panelists, including myself as well as the host. I'm also part and parcel of, of, of the panel, but I'm joined by two esteemed panelists uh, to have this discussion. I'm joined by Kimberly Ware, who is a PhD candidate at the University of Nottingham. Uh, she is at Nottingham under the uh, completing uh, the PhD as part of the Cultures of Occupation in 20th Century Asia project uh, at the University of Nottingham. She is also the Secretary for the Association of Southeast Asian Studies in the United Kingdom. I'm also uh, joined by Professor Christopher Capozola, uh, who is the Head of Department of History uh, and a Professor of History again at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to uh, listening to your presentations. Uh, viewers and listeners, my name is Anotida Chikumbu. I am also a PhD candidate at the University of Massachusetts, and uh, I'm also working on my broader research focuses on the political economy <clears throat> of development, and I'm looking particularly at countries in the Southern African region. So first and foremost, I want to get you all guys to uh, just give us an overview presentation of uh, the works that we are looking at, uh, the thesis that we are looking at, um, those that you submitted for discussion for this uh, symposium. So we are going to begin with, uh, with Kimberly Ware, uh, who is a PhD candidate at the University of Nottingham. This is your time. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Anatida. Um, and thank you, Timo and Imogen, for organizing this great conference on veteran politics and memory. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about the commemoration of Andres Bonifacio by Philippine revolutionary veterans um, and the development of the Bonifacio Monument, which today stands in Caloocan City in Metro Manila, but was inaugurated in 1933 when the Philippines was on the verge of becoming... 